What's up and welcome back to Wonder Boy. Where today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego City Jungle Half Track Mission set. This set has 378 pieces, is set 60159, and retails for $32 to $35. And I got it for $25 at Marshalls. Now let's take a look at the minifigs. First up, we're going to be taking a look at Jeff. He comes in almost every single jungle set. I think, in fact, he comes in every single jungle set. Poly comes in a poly bag, $6 set, $10 set, this set, other set. Comes in, like, every set. But it's a cool fig. I don't know if his official name is Jeff, but that's what I'm going to call him. Anyways, he comes with a hunter's machete, this pretty nice torso print. This, like, prisoner's face, which I think is where it originally came from. And he comes with, like, this tannish, brownish hat. Also, he comes with just blue pants. Next up, we have the girl of the fig, which I think she's probably the least common character of the series. I don't know. I think the scientist might be the least, least common. I'm not sure. Anyways, she comes with a, a camera as an accessory. She comes with this interesting hairpiece, which I thought was another hairpiece, but it turns out it's actually not. I I doubt it's exclusive to the set. The way she has it comes with this happy face and this scared face. Anyway, she has some nice torso printing and just blue pants. Next up, we have Black Panther Infinity War sets co confirmed. Just kidding. Anyways, the um, panther mold is pretty cool. You can see you can move it. Um, you can move the head and the legs. Pretty nice. And some nice eyes eye printing. Anyways, let's move on to the build of the sets. The campfire. This is the uh, main build of the set. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but this is considered its own build. It's a small little campfire. Works for what it's trying to represent. And if you add some gray pieces, you can count it as the Fortnite campfire. Next up, we have the Jeep. Not really Jeep, but Jungle Jeep, I'm going to call it. Start with the back side, where we have this container full of accessories. Which is just connected on these two jumper plates. Anyways, you got a metal detector here. There, uh, checking in chicken wing piece and a silver frying pan and the container is in this gray color which I don't see very common for containers they're usually brown this back part here is for play features which will be shown later you have have some headlights pretty movable and you got a steering wheel here and enough space to fit one minifig specifically Eat the um, girl minifig there. Pretty nice. And a pretty nice small build. Next up, we have Jeff's giant truck. Chain is for a play feature, which will be shared later. Anyways, you have a lot of space here. You can fit probably up to three minifigs if you squeeze them tight enough and have them with no accessories. Really nice. Now let's step to the complaint. Chain pieces. Those are so annoying to build. But at the end, it's worth it because it moves nicely and it looks nicely in my opinion. Looks pretty good. Also, you got this like giant wheels at the front. A walkie-talkie here. A, a hunting knife or machete. You got like these yellow lights in the front and front lights. Which I like the design of the front. Pretty nice motor piece. You can easily take off the roof like that, as you can see there. And you can just easily put Jeff without a problem. Right there. And just close that off very easily. No problems at all. And it's a pretty great build. And this is really the main attraction. Now, next up we have the um, jungle part of the set, 
But sure, it's small, but it's nice and efficient. Let's start with the play feature. So you connect this chain piece here. You connect this chain piece here, which you can see. And then you're supposed to pull it out like that. Really neat to play feature. Works well. You can also do it with the um, jungle jeep. That's why this piece is right there. Works very efficient. Anyways, the jungle build is very nice. Got a red spider there. You get this like nice totem design in the front. Red jewel there, which you can just push out from the back like that. And you have this thing part which just goes up to show like rump, like rocks falling. And you have a lot of leaf pieces here, which look nice. And just got beret pieces here. Looks really nice to be honest. Spikes there. Air and it, it's a nice small build. Anyways, let's take a look at the packaging. Here is the box of the set. Very nice box. It's the $30 size box. Well, this is $32. Discount. Now I got this from Marshalls for $25. But I'm sure you could still find it at some stores. Anyways, interesting enough, this set has three instructions. Instruction one on just win add. Instruction two, win add. Instruction three, win add, and that's it. There's no there's no advertisement for the other jungle sets. Which kinda sucks. I just put it in some point. Anyways, moving on to the final verdict. I think this is a really good set. Now, I'm going to rate it for the original price, and I'm going to rate it for the price I bought it at. Now, for $32, I would rate this a B. I, I think this is a very good set for hmm, $32. It feels good enough. Sure, I wish they expanded on this, but what you get is really good. Uh, now for $25, I would rate this a B plus. This is a great set for $25. For $32, it's a pretty good set. Anyways, I hope to see you all the next time. Goodbye.